Well, take two for what will probably be the last Red Sofa interview of 2017. Um, no thanks to the ineptitude of the uh, recording person. But anyway, with the lo- we're with the lovely Jennifer Parker Lemis, um, who's going to tell us all about herself. Who are you, Jen and Jenny? Oh, I am uh, Jennifer Parker Lemis, uh, and I've lived in gospel all my life, uh, apart from three years when I went to live in Cardiff and I went to the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. I'm married to the wonderful Michael and have been for 13 years uh, and we have two beautiful daughters who are six and eight and we all live happily together with my mum in Rana. Fantastic. And what would you say your biggest passions were? My two biggest passions are singing and running. Um, Singing is something I've done all my life. Um, I was always the one you could clearly hear in school assembly. Uh, And when I went to Bridge Road School, I met a fantastic woman named Mrs Warren. Um, who put me in touch with another fantastic woman called Mrs Winter at Broome Park School uh, and it was because of these two women that I got to go and do music at Southlands College and then went on to the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama and made me who I am today. And running, I've been doing for about three years and I really, really love it. I find it, you know, very good for me. We'll move on to that in a moment, but who would you, or rather, what do you think you would most like to achieve as a singer? Well, um... I mean, I'm doing an artist progression programme at the moment, but I'm having a bit of an identity crisis, to be fair, Um, because I've always sort of identified as an opera singer. Uh, But I think that people think that, you know, I'm really posh and that I wear horned helmets and, you know, I smash glasses all day long, Uh, which isn't true at all. You know, I'm not posh. Um, But as I've gotten older and my voice has matured, I can do more with it. You know, I can sing musical theatre, I can sing jazz, I also write my own comedy, I do little repartees of, you know, the songs that I'm singing and the characters that are singing them. Um, so I think I now identify more as sort of a, a comic soprano, um, but, you know, don't let that put you off booking me for a funeral. Um, so what I'm trying to do at the moment is trying to package what I do. Um, so I'm making videos and recording and singing, and obviously I'd like to go off and get a recording contract and obviously eventually world domination, of course. Um, but for now, I will settle for um, doing a cover of Queen's Barcelona um, with the fantastic Gary Barlow. Um, so Gary Barlow, if you're watching this, call me. We could totally do this. We'll make sure that Gary gets a copy of this. Um, yeah, that's brilliant. So, <laughs> I mean... If people wanted to book you or have a look at what you do, mm-hmm. um, how would they go about doing that? Well, I'm on Facebook as Jennifer Parker Lummis Soprano. Um, so, yeah, go on there. Please like my page. Um, there's plenty of links on there as well to my videos on YouTube. Um, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter as well. Easy. OK. Back to the running then. Um, you've been running for a short one, I think mm-hmm. you said three years? Three years, yeah. OK, so you started three years ago. What prompted you to get into running? Well, um, unfortunately, five years ago, my dad died of liver cancer, um, and it was a really horrible way to go. Um, And at the time, I'd already been diagnosed with a fatty liver, and I'd had my gallbladder removed, so I knew I had to do something. Um, And so I I lost about two stone, but I found it really hard, and I found it really hard to maintain that weight loss. Um, And one day, I was walking along with my two girls, and they were skipping off ahead of me, and I just had this awful thought that, if they suddenly ran out of the road, would I be quick enough to be able to stop them? Um, and would I be generally quick enough to keep up with them as they get older? Uh, and the answer to that was, was no. So then I realised that what I needed to be was, was fitter. It wasn't so much about being thinner or a smaller size, but being fit. Um, and I read somewhere that you need to do something like 19 times in order to make it a habit. Um, so I thought, well, if I just start off small and I just started walking around the block every other day, and then sort of with little bursts of running as well. And I thought after about sort of four or five times, you know, I must be doing what, a mile and a half, yeah, feeling really good about this. So I downloaded one of those running apps. <laughs> and it turned out I was like doing 0.8 of a mile. <laughs> um, so a very good friend of mine, Sarah Newman, uh, told me about Gosport Roadrunners and they were doing a um, beginner's course where they would train you to run a mile um, over eight weeks. Uh, and it was like a quid a week. Uh, so I went along and had like the most fun I've ever had in a long time, which is when you're a parent of small children, <sighs> fun is hard to come by. Um, and yeah, it went from there and now I can run five miles without stopping. You know, I've done the 100 acre 10K, you know, I have my own personalised top, Opera Gem. Um, and I absolutely love it. You know, it's so good for you. So 
so. It is. I mean, I mean, I've been running for a while. I know how addictive it can be. Mm -hmm. So, w would you say that there are obvious benefits then to joining a running club? Well, yeah. Um, I mean, the thing about running is it's so versatile. Um, I mean, it's really good for your physical health, but also your mental health. Mm. It's something you can do on your own. You don't. You can do it any time. You can do it anywhere. Um, and you can either do it on your own or you can do it with other people. It's very sociable. And the great thing about going to a club is that the people at, at Roadrunners, they're just the nicest people I've ever met. Um, nobody judges you. Nobody's got a hidden agenda. Um, everybody's there to support you. And even if, you know, you can't run anymore or, you, you know, you're really struggling, there's always somebody who will, you know, come and run with you. Um, and like I said, you know, it's, it's good to have a catch-up as well. Oh, good. Well, that's, uh, that, I think that's indicative of most running clubs everywhere, but it's mm -hmm. um, obviously we're a bit... Must be the endorphins. Well, that's what, exactly what it is, yeah. <laughs> so I think you've touched on most of it. What would you say, if you could put it down to one single thing, what would you say was the best part of running? Is the absolute, the achievement that you get in it, you know, the fact that, as I said, three years ago, I would never have believed that I could run five miles without stopping. Yeah. Um, that I would meet so many lovely people. Generally, I'm one of those people that avoids group activities like the plague. Um, but yeah, meeting all these other people, um, all the other things that we do as well, interval training, um, you know, strength and condition, there's something for everyone. When you yeah. go to club on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, there's, you know, strength and conditioning, interval training, you can do three miles, five miles, seven miles. Um, you can go along, you know, it's 22 quid for the year. I mean, it's nothing, is it? It's not even a month's gym membership. Brilliant. Checks in the post. <laughs> so who would you, I think I might have a clue here, but who would you say that your role models were? Singing-wise, Kristen Chenoweth. Um, she's the most amazing singer. I should Google her. She's brilliant. Um, Victoria Wood, Tim Minchin, obviously Gary Barlow. Um, Running-wise, I would say everyone I've ever met at Gosport Roadrunners. Including oh, you, Nick. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. I've told you the checks into place, that's fine. Great. Um, so, for you then, the future. Obviously, we've mentioned the singing, yeah. and we know that your running will no doubt go from strength to strength. Yeah. But if you had, um, if you had an ambition uh, for 2018, what would it be? Have you got a target for 2018, running-wise or singing-wise? Well, I would like to do another 10K. Yeah. Um, and I would just like to keep on running, because I... It, the enjoyment that I get out of it and making sure that I think the main thing for me is is making sure that I run every, you know every week at least three times a week good and people watching this really do have to check out your Facebook and Twitter page and what else you want you on the other platforms Instagram. as well Instagram <laughs> definitely worth a look book the lady up okay final question um, if you could have um, anyone you wanted for your Christmas dinner to sit around your table at Christmas, dinner, who would it be? One person? One person? Oh, the pressure. I mean, you've named a few role models, so if you had to choose one just to have Christmas dinner with, and you and your family, who would it be? Well, I know, if I could bring somebody back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah. It would be my dad. Your dad? My dad. Okay, well, I'm sure your dad is watching, and he'll be with you on Christmas anyway. Thanks ever so much for taking time out of your very busy day <laughs> to pop in for five minutes and do this twice, because I... <laughs> Messed it up the first time. Have a great Christmas. You too, Nick. Cheers, Jenny.